we'll be we'll catch Chrono up next time that he gets here. I think I've devoted a lot of time to waiting for him, but unfortunately he can't come, so you know how it is. It's a secret. Oh my god. Anyway, moving forward. Make them suffer. Alien beans? Uh... What are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. I think he was just using sound clips from uh, Dawn of War and messing with them. Oh my god. I think it was supposed to be alien beings. And make them suffer, obviously. Is that kitten? Is he just making tea? Looks like it. All in the background and they're destroying alien beams. Oh, the cherubs are flying today. And I guess that's the window of the Imperial Palace. What the heck is that? That is possibly the shadow uh, vaults or some kind of weird ass armor right here. I think it's the shadow vaults. Yeah, because that's the helmet of an El a craft world Eldar, so probably. Ugh. Yeah, that's scary. There's a giant. Oh. He just ignores him. Even while they're still looking at him. And that is the human webway, if I'm correct. I still think it's incredibly funny that uh, he's supposed to be their general, but yet they treat him like he's lesser than them. Oh, yeah. The stripper stodies have no care for Kitten. Did you hear him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My God. Good. Morning, my emperor. Oh! If I needed help regarding this, why, for the love of all gold-plated plant life on Terra, would I ask you? It would be like looking for advice about depression medication from a precarious obscure attic. Oh, god damn. That's, uh, that's a hell of a way to describe Magnus. As you no think you I mean, he's not wrong, considering all the things he did for Zeech and... He even followed Zeech even after he knew the truth. Which, uh, as, uh, I don't remember which Primarch, I, th I don't remember which Primarch said it to him, but he said, To you who, uh, to you who values truth above all else, it should matter. Uh, good question. You should right I am. Yeah, probably. Because he basically told him, um, he basically told him that yeah, it's Horus's fault. And he's like, I know, I don't care. And he's like, You've got, you're so far gone. Does give me a level of expertise. After all, I'm a daemon prince for crying out loud. I'm literally made of warp stuff. One would think that after all the stunts you've pulled, you would have some kind of discretion over the atrocious amount of shittery you have been spewing every. Yeah, honestly, if I learned that all everything I learned was a lie, I probably would have. You know, not suggested that maybe this stuff is all right. Where, if anyone has the right to say I told you so, then I should have set up a parade with banners and streamers <laughs> and clowns and whatever else just for you. I'm not saying I told you so. I'm just saying that you and I both know damn well that you're ridiculously narrow-minded on the matter. It's just the way things are, and you know it. Son. I'm the yeah. motherfucking emperor. I can alter whatever I desire. I am like a glorious golden god. Except I am not, of course. And look where your meddling has gotten mm. you. Oh, in addition, aren't you the one who said you didn't want to play God? That is my spirit coming straight from the vile warp end of the fucking demon prince. Wow, they're having an argument again. What do you expect? <sighs> oh, my lord. I thought you were going to honestly laugh when you said, I'm like a glorious golden god, but not. At this point, I think he, I think he knows he's a god, even though he hates it. He might actually be a god, considering how many people worship him. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. It's a, uh, it's weird. Do you know is there weird. is a difference between actually having the powers and distinguished looks of a god 
and wanting to be worshipped as one. There is also, there is a difference between that, too. I know you're busy stabbing each other with word chips right now, but... About guard smacking time you've got here. Where is T-Sunny? Well, I was disintegrated by a warp bolt when I walked into your room. Ah. Damn you, Magnus. Your unregulated cipher powers <laughs> have caused yet another disaster. Me! <laughs> Over the T. <tea. laughs> Oh the yeah. of nature who literally defecates warp storms whenever he tantrums. Uh, you probably shouldn't. Too much heresy. Oh, see, it, does, it doesn't matter. I'll just, you know, go and make some more tea later. <laughs> oh, thank God. To avert the creation of another Eye of Terror on Terror. I that sounds so horrible. Well, that's what I think. Eye of Terror on Terror? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because the Eye of Terror is literally a rip in the fabric of reality. Oh, brother. There's a reason they have a bunch of chapters that literally just fly their ships around and stay on planets near there. It's why the Cadians were so good at stopping it. They were literally they were born... There. To br they were basically bred to fight, honestly. They were trained and knew what they were doing. There's one time I think a commander of another uh, general basically told the Cadians that they aren't real people anymore and they're a dying breed because their plan is gone. I think the other general literally had, literally started beating the crap out of him and had to be held back by two other generals. <laughs> Isn't he Cadians are a prideful bunch, and they honestly earned that. Yeah, honestly, if I was Cadian, I feel like I would have earned it as well, considering everything they went through. Um, yes. Every, you... Almost every single day, warp creatures c try and destroy your planet, and you fight them off. Hell, out of all of the other planets, I'm pretty sure no one can say that they literally, that their planet broke before they did. Yeah. Bone sack of a father is almost as deluded as his foolish warshippers. He truly believes that chaos is nothing more than an utterly negative force which needs to be destroyed. I completely agree, considering what it did to Fulgrim and a few of the others. Yeah, the thing is, uh, chaos is literally is a literal negative force that corrupts everything. Like it's literally called chaos corruption. It's not called chaos change or anything. Yeah. Like, there's a reason in, like, fantasy there are ways to purify things from chaos corruption. In all my 48,000 years, I have not had much inclination to the contrary. Almost every single thing wrong with mankind is the fault of chaos. It's that I don't believe, but also it's kind of... Some of it is. It's, uh... Gods and their worshippers. Uh, yeah. If only humanity had listened to me and ignored chaos and all the arm wavy religious crap. We would be well on the way to perfecting humanity as a species, and I would be way less spooky looking. <laughs> I would be way less spooky looking. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, even when he was human, he was a bit spooky looking. That's true. Especially with his, like, glowing golden eyes. Arguing about what happened yesterday. The whole sending the entire infrastructure to the warp and convoluted plans thing. No, we mm -hmm. finished arguing about that hours ago. Were you not paying attention? Oh yeah, he just left when they kept arguing about stuff. <laughs> I'm not surprised, honestly. You sent me to get tea. And uh. you took your sweet ass time doing that, did you not? What were you doing? Trying to be all cheery cherry cream puff or something. What? Maybe. I don't know you what that means. Me when you pretend to have emotions. <laughs> so what did you decide on? None of your concern. Corn cob, it will all be resolved at a later. Corn date. cob. <laughs> Back to the Bucci Branigan at hand. Branigan? Where were we? You mentioned how you tried telling humanity to throw religions at a window, ironically, to never question you about it. Huh. Was it my turn to grumble or yours? I guess it's your turn to grumble. To grumble, Go grumble, ahead. grumble. <laughs> what is so funny, Chuckle Shits? I thought uh. we were grumbling here. Yeah, I think I know what Magnus your is about to say. Your really must be splintered. I have no reason to lie to you, so before you spew that whole noise of the heretic drivel at me... I am not some crazed old zealot from the first Dark Ages, son. Do you know how I feel about overuse of such terminology? Uh, uh 
considering your entire Imperium, even when he was alive, used that kind of terminology, it's kind of insane for him to say that. Like, he even used the word crusade. Right. Which is, like, knee-deep in religious connotations, along with, you know, Inquisition and, uh, you know, a bunch of other stuff. And the fact that, you know that the Space Marines are considered the Emperor's angels of yeah. things. Yeah, his angels of death. We literally have the Dark Angels, the Blood Angels, even before they started, pretty much. This what a spectacular comeback that word has made as of late. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to show you, but I didn't know if it was just a short or in an episode. Oh, no. You have sullied your hands with filthy parchments of heresy garments. I think that's an anime girl. I can't tell. How do you oh, it's a redhead. We need to shield Fable's eyes. Everyone, shield Fable's eyes. Oh, my God, Red. <laughs> You didn't think I would bring it back during the reactions, but I did. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I already ate my food. I don't have to take this. I don't have to take this harassment, this heresy from you. I'm leaving. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure what kind of guardsman this is. I've never seen this uniform, but either way. Moving forward, this is a Kalazar basically dealing with his hand of... Uh, what? No! Too late, heretic! Ugh. <laughs> you inspire your men to study such foul smut, Commissar? You have- I don't know what legion this is. I have no idea. Or chapter. There's a, there's a lot of chapters with, with blue, with blue um, stripes and everything. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you can blame the ultramarines. Detestable <laughs> mutants fill your heads with such vile obscenity. Die, heretic! <laughs> the fact that you can that a sister of science can actually take down Astartes is still crazy to me. And I it points out how we do have strong ladies in 40k. But they don't get as much talk. Anyway. I do actually like the sisters of battle. <laughs> oh no, did he just say what I think he did? He was, yes, he's talking about that. You remember that one part with the. Uh... Oh, yeah. The, oh. It, for those that don't know what we're talking about, there's a part in the Grey Knight stories where they are almost corrupted and saved by Sisters of Battle, then they kill the Sisters of Battle to use their blood to make them more resistant to warp stuff, which is... Listen, I love the designs of the Grey Knights, but they, their stories aren't usually very good. L listen, just... Here's the thing. That is what we in the fandom call a grim derp. Yeah. Where a, writer, where a writer decides to try to make something grim and dark, but fails miserably. It... Because... They didn't do it properly. I usually use the term grim derp, where something it's where something gets so dark, it just from being for stupid reasons, like things get dark for stupid reasons, that loops back to being silly and funny because it makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, yeah. You know what? They're just running around shooting each other down there. They're just the exterminators. Oh my god. All right, fire. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> why did they have to? Why did they have to exterminate us that? Because you need to use the big button. He oh. started. Oh. Anyway, that's not the point. You see, chaos, the warp, all of that isn't just some demonic realm of nasty, horrible things. It's not honestly, it kind of is. I, I... Yeah, the, the problem is this, besides the Chaos Gods and their followers, there's literally warp entities that are probably even more dangerous than them. They just don't get any love because why would GW do anything outside of what they have? Yeah, any good warp entities usually get overshadowed by the millions and millions of demons kind of harboring in the warp. So we've rarely ever... The only thing I can count is are the 
living saints. Those are technically warp entities. They're basically the opposite of a demon prince. But yeah. Much more important than that. I know this already. Its true nature is that it is the realm of the collective spiritual subconscious of every single soul possessing species in the galaxy. In other yeah. words, the realm of souls. Right. Yeah, yeah we already had to talk about requires this. requires some serious unfucking. And this is where the senile ramblings come back in. <sighs> Let me say something I learned while reading all those forbidden tomes with you. Do you remember back when you told humanity that there would be no gods? You said no religion, no worshipping of anything, and thus you... Yeah, when he, when he arrived on Lorgar's planet and he immediately commanded him as his one true god, he gave him that look of, ew. Yeah. I heard, uh, I've talked about this slightly before, but according to, according to Makador, uh, Lorgar was the one that took after the Emperor the most, looks-wise. A lot of people speculate that the favorite of the Emperor was Lorgar because they had such similarities and because he looked like him, that's why he was the hardest on him. But keep in mind, mm. I don't think that's the case because to be honest, depending on what form of canon you want to follow, the Emperor either actually loved his sons or he saw them as nothing more than tools. I mean, he could also... He... Oh, I could say... Mm -hmm. Honestly, he could think both, honestly. Yeah, he could think both, but again, it's really up to the interpretation, but a lot of people also speculate that the one who actually was his favorite was Horus because they spent the most time together. That does honestly but, make... But, but it's honestly up to people to decide on that, and GW for sure is not going to tell us what it is. Of course they're not. Because, would be because they're cowards. Come completely irrelevant and Pretty much. To death, right? Yes, which is exactly what I wanted, and almost what happened. You were inadvertently creating a whole new chaos god. Oh Come yeah, here. this theory. Because it was not worshipped in the conventional way, its name never became revealed to mankind, but you were creating a chaos god of unbelief. There, yeah, this is a theory I remember going around. The Dark uh, I don't remember much, but there is their equivalent of this to the, to the god of unbelief and fantasy. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But he's honestly a guy who's just like doesn't care about his worshippers. He's just like he looks like a normal dude. He just shows up sometimes like, eh, worship me or not, I don't care. Here, uh, thanks for this little temple, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you're talking about the Dark King because that's apparently what what a lot of people speculate the Emperor was going to become if he fell to chaos. Ah. Uh. But yeah, he said he's creating a chaos god of unbelief. I don't believe it was a chaos god in particular, but an actual just god. Because there are not just chaos gods, there are also gods just in general, like the Eldar gods. But we don't really get to talk about them now, do we? Yeah... You were becoming its champion, perhaps even its avatar. That has got to be the single dumbest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. I do think it's really dumb that they're doing that. Oh, you were creating a god of unbelief. Like, what the hell kind of god would that be? Unbelief is such a weird thing that you, like, you can't worship it. I mean, well, it's, it's weird because the chaos gods are supposed to be the manifestation of, like, emotions gone haywire essentially just interesting because corn is supposed to be rage uh nurgle is supposed to be like the acceptance of death or empathy uh, I sloth guess. Not, sloth yeah and slanesh is lust which is gross and mm -hmm. and zinch is well knowledge well but it, i think he's it, greed yeah but he also is supposed to represent the un the un, uh, the un, uh, eh, words. He essentially, uh, his followers and people that worship him want knowledge and information, and he's just like, I'll give it to you. Not the way you want it, but I'll give it to you. Yeah. He's the because only, like, ca yeah, as you showed me that video before, he's the only Chaos God to screw with his worshippers for no reason. Yeah. But, like he did to Cairo's Fate Weaver and just chucked him into a black hole. Yeah, he's just like, this is a black hole. Let me throw a bunch of demons. No one's coming back. Oh, hey, you go in there. Comes back, two heads. 
can see the past and the future. He's just like, I'm never going to mess with that thing again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there's only one. Do you know who the true god of Warhammer Fantasy is that you need to worship, Fable? Is it Sigmar? No, it's Neffel, the god of football and Blood Bowl. Oh my god, we don't talk about Blood Bowl. <laughs> we don't talk about it, not since they destroyed the third game. Get out of here. Like, come on, don't you all worship Neffel? No, I don't want to watch them. No. Look, look what you did. Common's worshipping Blood Bowl now. Bowl, baby, Blood Bowl. It's, it's all about the Mets, Fable. All about the Mets, yeah. Wipe sustaining God couch for the past 10,000 years. the Mets were 40k, apparently. <laughs> well, we have teams for each race, like the, like the Wood Elves. But are not, that's what was happening. You see, Chaos isn't some Saturday morning cartoon villain that you can just defeat. It's a force of reality itself, and the more you try to control and restrain it, the more it will act against you. I feel like even if they are things of reality, if you can scar them and wound them, you can kill them. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you hear that last part where I said? No, I just heard things I, of reality. I said that they're things of reality, and you can scar them and hurt them. You can probably kill them. Yeah, too bad 40k doesn't understand the ability to actually kill demons, or cure demons i mean so stupid kane was able to injure both slanesh and corn that's why corn's in his wheelchair right. and nurgle is still wounded from getting hit by because of his force getting hit by the emperor's sword right so if they can be wounded i fully believe they can be killed I believe it's that too. It's just that GW is too afraid to push forward with that story. Because we have chaos worshippers on their side. Mm. No one. That and, that and because they, they literally kill a fetch and they won't make money off of it. Pretty much. That's so why least... That's why they brought back the space dwarves. The leagues of Votan. Gravity dictates how objects are pulled towards each other, and energy condenses into matter and form. So too does chaos function as yet another celestial process. You should know and accept that. Body. But the thing is, the chaos gods aren't natural things that just happen. They are quite literally a warping of the natural realm of souls. They're basically right. like a clog in the toilet. You can't say I'm wrong. You're not yeah. wrong. That is you all well and true, right. but that does not make it not dangerous, stupid, dangerously stupid, and stupidly dangerous. You should also know and accept by now that things which are factually correct can still be unfathomably idiotic. True. Well, I suppose you're right in that sense. Ever since Slanesh was murder fucked into existence, things have kind of got out of hand. Hands off my quips, chili pepper. Get your own. <laughs> chili pepper. Uh, but yeah, that makes me think of, I think it was the chapter in the curse founding called the firehawks or something where they would literally just ignite into flames out of nowhere but didn't they disappear and supposedly people uh, believe that they are the legion of the damned uh they got excommunicated i don't know why but i guess because they thought it was heretical whatever they were doing but their fire apparently didn't hurt people it only hurt chaos entities <sighs> which is that's really stupid because if they would have been properly trained and learned how to help others, they could have been a good help against chaos. But the Inquisition's just like, oh, it's heresy. It's Dominica. It's Pretty much. because we're stupid. Funny enough, before we started watching today, I was actually going to watch a video about the Legion of the Damned because I don't know anything about them. The uh, best way paid, I can quickly but... describe them, they are a, they are they are imperial demons. They are the Emperor's uh, demons. Where they're from or who they are, nobody knows. There's like a lot of theories stating that they're probably one of the lost chapters that disappeared one day. Uh, are, whose side are they on? They are on the Imperial side. The only problem is when you fight alongside them, you're literally, you're kind of literally given like a boost in your body that basically makes you want to fight more and more. Uh, it's it's weird. Like, I, they do help out, but if the Legion of the Dam pops up, you know things are bad. I 
Honestly, they might actually be people that once worshipped chaos and turned to, turned away from it. It's right. possible. We're not actually sure what they are. We just know that they're imperial demons. Mm. By the hour, not or, by the or, as, or as the emperor and everyone else calls them, daemons. Yeah, daemons. Yeah. Which it is, and the warp is a reflection of the subconsciousness of all mankind. Does that mean we're all horrible, terrible, awful people? On the inside, yes, absolutely disgusting. I am outside of that side, <laughs> you see, so it does not apply to me, because, do you know, I am pretty much perfect, and all that, <laughs> right? Uh, apparently he says he's not all that human. He used to be anyway, when I still had good old boners done. But yes, this is why I have been trying to guide mankind all this time. But yeah, he says he's outside of the horrible cycle where they, where humanity and other races create demons. <laughs> He literally has created so many living saints and so many I mean, real demons. It's ridiculous. I mean, living saints, though, are basically uh, demon princes, but for the Emperor. They always come back. Yeah. And the Dreamer somehow has fire powers. So that's a thing. Humanity gets uh -huh. to collectively create its own realm with their subconscious thoughts. That would have been a good idea. Alloy, fear, blood, Brussels if you could somehow harness the, like, the mental power of a bunch of humans to do that, that would be interesting. Right. Contradictory bullshit. It is like you are all mindless men children, scribbling bits in your no books when you should be paying attention <laughs> to the lessons that I am trying to fucking teach you. Those students and you have perfectly synergetic personalities for the record. Oh. Now I feel terrible about myself. Worse than ever before. Good. That is a step in the right direction. But oh my god. <laughs> Feeling terrible about yourself is a step in the right direction. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, I was if checking something real quick. But yeah, uh, we're going to go on for this a bit. Sorry, I'm keep stopping. The but yeah, they're gonna keep going. To the ignorant and untrained eye, it would certainly seem so. However, it's actually much simpler than that. Some people have a natural ability to channel the wolf's power more than others, just like. Yeah, the problem with that is obviously demons. How some people have right. genetically determined talents or abilities. Since a warp is based on the power of emotions, one can use this ability to channel their own willpower and bend the world around us. Just as we change it. It's a weird thing that I don't fully understand. Shape of the warp with our own minds, so too does the warp allow those talented enough to change reality. <laughs> what did I say about fireballs in a throne room? Yes, yes, I need to ask you first. He's a, Sorry, Dad. He summoned a, a bucket of water. <laughs> As I was what? What's that? saying, the stronger your connection to the warp, the stranger you become in the eyes of others. This may make you feel incredibly lonely and ostracized, but don't worry. As a psycho, you're never alone. You've oh, no. a lot of extra dimensional attention from demons and the like to keep you company in those cold, dark nights. Uh, Suffice no. to say, this, combined with the fact that possessions are a thing, is the primary reason why psychos are usually seen as horrid witches that need killings. Well, that's also because they summon demons just by using their powers. And the original reason why they had to be, like, cut down yeah. is just to save planets from the hordes of demons they would somehow summon. But yeah, that's a, that's a thing we always have to worry about. Well, and, you know, uh, chaos corruption. Because, you know, whispers in your ears. Something. It means I'm definitely not a psyker after all. Wait, what about the great enemies of man? How does all of this explain the dark gods, demons, and all of that? Have you ever heard the saying, we all have our own personal demons? Yes. Think about that phrase, and take into account what Magnus just said about Pretty much. Work. Now apply the resulting realization to the entire population of a galaxy. It's worse than simply being a hellish realm, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Sparkle is much, much more than that. 
every single thought or feeling you've ever had, both consciously and subconsciously, becomes reality in the warp. Every single human emotion becomes a power. Every single metaphor becomes a literal meaning. Everyone's wishes, dreams, desires, fears, and nightmares are incarnated. Of course, the reason the warp is so corrosive and horrifying is because so many conflicting and contradicting ideas are floating around inside of it. And He's not exactly wrong. And the gods are, in fact, collective subconscious constructs that reflect crucial mental aspects of all life. I'm not sure if they rec they reflect all life because they're originally, you know, not there in the first place. Right. They were originally created due to a high amount of bad emotions, basically, which was caused during the war in heaven, which means there was a lot of bad stuff, which kind of makes you think that this war that they're going through right now must be incredibly smaller. Daemons are shards of their respective gods, much like individual cells make up an organism. If that's true, then why are they so, you know, completely horrible and evil? I mean, we can't all be 100% evil all the time, can we? Of course not. Something yeah. which people seem to forget, including the gods themselves, is that they represent all thoughts and emotions. Well, of the course they forget them. The ugly. For example, Zine. Ah, the movie. Which may be a cruel and devious trickster, but he's also a force of progress and a beacon of hope. Change after. Ah, that's stretching it a much with the beacon of hope. Role is neither innately benevolent or malevolent, but it sure is. This is the popsicles again. <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. This sounds like propaganda. Well, you know it is true. Without Zinx, there would be no malicious schemes, but there would also be no one clever enough to save people from those schemes. The funny thing is, though, he usually it's just other bad schemes running into other bad schemes and screwing each other over. Nothing would ever right. get done, and we would fall into an eternal stasis of static karma. And that is what Nurgle represents. Stagnancy. A lack of change. Inevitable eternal cycles of decay and renewal. But he also represents the resilience, resolve, and solidarity to face those same unsettling inevitabilities. In short, if everything is shit, why worry about it? That is why his father... Yeah, that's why Nurgle's followers are so, are so incredibly cheerful. cheerful. Even when most of their entrails are on. Uh, I hate Nurgle's followers so much. They're so creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem a bit off, guys. It's just I'm a little tired. But yeah, it's uh, Nurgle is. I hate that he's considered life itself. There would be no consistency, safety, or comfort in living and dying. In fact, there would be no consistency at all. All those cycles of decaying renewal are just the circle of life. In fact, but yeah, Nurgle's followers are quite literally everything's bad, so why worry about it? You're eventually gonna end up under Nurgle anyway. I, well, not actually, because if you don't worship him anyway. But yeah, there's incredibly cheerful. I hate them. I hate the plague toads. I hate the blood letters. But you know, fact, Nurgle is technically nature incarnate. Ugh. Is... is this really true? To be honest, even taking into consideration that this is about as batshit fucking crazy as Conrad Curse. God damn! <laughs> Just throw Curse under the bus. I mean, he was insane. Hmm? Oh my lord. All of this about the gods is actually correct. He is still being an ass barrel though. Absolutely, they both are. I'm not gonna argue that. I was referring to you. Oh damn. What about the others? If Zinch is progress and Nurgle is nature, then what the hell are the other two meant to be? What possible purpose could they have beside creating massively unnecessary amounts of death and suffering? I mean, that's what most of all four of them do. Well, corn may be a force of that's true. Like the slaughter of hatred, but that's because it prescribes to another natural concept, survival of the fittest. That's true. He also represents justice, vengeance, and honor, so... Uh, I'm not so sure about justice, honor, vengeance, yeah. Uh, justice and honor, no. Vengeance, yes. Yeah, because he usually doesn't care as long as you stab him in the front. Exactly. He will just stab you in the face, over and over again, until your face stops resembling a face. Pretty much. I mean... <laughs> I've heard tales of corn worshippers just going into blackouts and killing things. There's also the fact that one of corn's uh, one of corn's uh, demon princes, I believe, 
literally tried to stab him in the back. It didn't work, but Torn was so mad, he literally stripped him of everything he had by shaking the crap out of him and just throwing him away. Are you talking about Scarbrand? Yeah. Yeah. He was tricked by Zeech into attacking him, and the only reason Korn got angry is because he's attacked him from the back instead of the front. Without yeah, that's the stupid thing about it. To fight against injustice. And speaking of injustice, this may be a horrifying, uh. torturous fiend that breaks minds and inflicts until suffering, but uh. she... It also exudes uh. joy, freedom and expression and happiness. Because I hello, do. Hello, someone has got to be enjoying your pain and agony after... Yeah, that's what I think about the Dark Eldar. That's what they get from it. Wrong. It's ironic, yet it makes sense. Sanash has fallen from the extremes of emotional experience, uh, freedom as well as crippling suffering. Without Sanash, there would be no happiness and no grief to make those happen. I don't anything. believe any of that. And that's why you can't No, just I don't kill. believe that either, because the fact that happiness existed before, you know, the Eldar murder fucked everything into her into existence. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, I don't get Magnus's point. All of these, yeah. all of these concepts were a thing before the Chaos Gods came into power. I think he's trying to. Arc I think Magnus just wants to be right. I'll be honest. I know. I know he just wants to be right. Oh, but yeah. The universe needs chaos to survive. No, it does not. Destroying chaos would basically destroy the entirety of the human psyche. And that is where you fall into the pit of objective yeah. incorrectness, you pile of brat worsts. I can't defeat chaos, and I must, for the good of us all, I Honestly, accept I believe that, that what you say is true, Magus, but I must bring peace to humanity and the entire galaxy. And so long as chaos exists in its current state, this goal will That's, never be achieved. Yeah, especially in its current state. Like, I guess you could kind of change them by worshiping by forcibly having like a bunch of people worship them in different ways, but that's a lot harder. Is anniversary okay, Karst? Yeah, Karst is here now. Must defeat those four giant floating reality uh, tumors. How dare you, Karst? Oh, <laughs> really? Well, do enlighten me and explain how you're going to. D <sighs> yeah, he has to defeat. They are basically tumors on reality. <laughs> Going to say, I can't mm -hmm. tell you now, but you'll see and understand all in good time, aren't you? <laughs> you did not need to let that before that, and now did you? Oh, I'm just used to hearing that kind of thing by now. I know it is not what you want to hear, after all we have been through, but my son, I cannot tell you now. I will tell you when the time is right. Understood. Yeah. Didn't you say that no curtains were to cover up your plans for the future this time around? No, seriously. If I told you this, it would totally ruin the surprise. Not to mention yeah. the risks involved. Uh, well, alright. But just for this one occasion. Thanks, son. Just trust me this time. <laughs> and do not let a flying space octopus convince <laughs> you to turn on us all again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> a flying so space octopus. If you knew all this, why do you call them chaos at all? And yeah. How does that work for you anyway? To answer that less personal question first, Daemon Princes are always former members of a soul-bearing species who have had their soul removed by a chaos god and replaced with a humongous mass of warp energy. Yeah, Slanesh just kind of threw Fulgrim's soul away because honestly he was more chaos demon at that point than anything else. Which is yeah. why... Which is why we got Clone Grim. Which they're not gonna do anything with Clone Grim, which makes me unhappy. This turns their bodies intangible and charges people. them with infernal power, basically. I just want him to be able to, just so we would freak out what is left of Demon Volgrim and basically see how far he's fallen. Turning them into a daemon. These kind of surgeries should be universally illegalized. Anyone or anything that undergoes this process must have mm. great amounts of willpower to retain any of their personality. If they don't. To become mindless chaos spawns. Oh, you mean like what would happen with a Angron? If they succeed and survive the process, well, it's hard to explain. Hmm. Since warp energy is basically just raw, undiluted, and unrefined soul stuff, it serves roughly the same purpose as a soul, with huh. the benefit of being way more powerful at the expense of being way less stable. 
It actually takes quite a bit of effort for me to retain this humanoid form right now. Boy, Interesting. I remember what your true form oh, looks like. Oh, yeah! Now. I bet looking like that makes you feel really proud of yourself. Dad, we agree uh, we talk about that. We're going to see that eventually. Not a thing. Nothing at all. And this was the less personal question. Uh, His true is demon. Isn't Magnus with all the wings? What? Isn't Magnus with the wings? It's not the one, or which form are you talking about? Because this is—it's the form, but for the retcon. Oh, I then I don't know. Um, I've never actually seen the demon prince. Uh, My soul. The prime arts in their demon forms. Uh, Agron looks basically like Scarbrand. Weird. I guess I'm some kind of half demon now I would laugh at how silly and full of facts that idea sounds if it were not for it being true yeah actually fuck it I will laugh anyway question I didn't know all of this information at first meaning I couldn't make informed decisions back then I mean it's not exactly common knowledge for some reason I only learned after it was too late to turn back. I mean, That's why it's I your own try fault. To change my ways. To be honest, I'm not even sure myself anymore. Mm. I didn't think there was a way out. I didn't know where I stood or whose side I was on anymore. From my experience, I'm not sure there were or even are sides to take. I felt and still feel betrayed by everyone I trusted, but I also felt like I was betraying myself. Whatever side you took seems to have edges so sharp you could cut through power armor with them. Honestly, you're not wrong. Sparkly skeleton showcase. You need a, a hand making that one up. Really? Effort. Keep trying because I liked where you were going with it. <laughs> it had movement and progression. Oh one day you will get a good one, and yeah. we will laugh incessantly. <laughs> Whatever, father. At least you should know where you stand by now. I hope after everything we have done, and everything I have said, that you realize that you can trust in me again, even if it is just a tiny little bit. Hmm. Eh, maybe. To be honest, we can argue until you turn pale, and my right hand <laughs> fucks off to wherever the left hand went. But at the end of the day, you are still my son, even if you look yeah. <laughs> like you are straight out of a rebellious gang. That mugs old ladies. <laughs> I am just glad that you are finally admitting you do not know shit. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll do the same. Do not bet on it. I do like that they're bonding though. Well, they shouldn't bother me on you, Abel. How about some tea? Count me in. Sure. Wait, how would you even drink it? Sure. <laughs> that is how. That is how. Using my powers at all is agony. Yeah, but probably. Sometimes it's just too fucking funny not to. <laughs> Using cosmic powers to drink tea. That's certainly the father I remember. Wait, Wait the subs are different there. Say, what? here is another 100% beneficial way to make good use of my powers. What? What? Uh, I've located the Astronomicon. But what is it? Is its signature faint? No. Yeah. That's an astropath. Yeah. Giving me the bird. <laughs> what? It's giving me the bird. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Emperor. They're, oh moving. God. They're moving through the warp. Why would you Navigator, do this to him? <laughs> how the feth can a giant holy space beacon flip you the bird? <laughs> oh my god, a psycho. <laughs> Absolutely splendid, Father. You bet. Put him here, son. Oh my God. Those poor I people. can't believe he. Yes, I can't believe he used his powers just to flip someone off in the war of all things. Oh my lord. I, I, I just can't, man. I just can't. You can't, but... Okay, there are a bunch more stuff, but none of them are here for some reason. <laughs> 